Hey guys, Mike here. In this short video, we're going to go over Law of Attraction Process 5, the Prosperity Game. Let's get into it. One of the reasons this process is so powerful and so important is most people, they focus on the lack of money. They don't focus on the presence of money. So what this process does is it allows you to focus on the actual presence of money and not the lack of it. Now first off, this process provides value for anyone that's currently between the emotional set point of one, joy, knowledge, empowerment, freedom, love, appreciation, all the way up to 16, discouragement. If you're unsure of the emotional set points, click the video in the description below or in the right corner. What that'll do is take you to a video where I break down the emotional set points, what they are and how they work. However, if you do want a detailed breakdown of the emotional set point system, you have to go get a book called Asking It Is Given by Jerry and Esther Hicks. That will also be in the description down below. But let's get into it. So besides your emotional set point, when should you use this process? When you want to expand your ability to imagine. When you want to add more clarity or specificity to a desire. Three, when you want to enhance the flow of money into your life. And four, when you want to enhance the flow of abundance in a variety of different areas. So you'll begin this process by establishing an imaginary checking account. For simplicity's sake, and just so we can do it with something that you guys can see really easily, I'm just going to use a spreadsheet. So I'm going to pop up a spreadsheet here on the screen. So as you can see here, prosperity game right here. Now it can be a Google document, it can be a journal, it can be a notepad, it can be an actual you know, finance app on your phone. It doesn't really matter what it is. The goal is you have something to just keep track of this account and the more real you can make it to yourself, the better. So on the first day of the prosperity game, you're going to deposit $1,000. So day one, November 12th, 2018, balance of $1,000. So we just put in $1,000. Day one, deposit. So now the goal, once we have the $1,000 in our imaginary account, is you need to spend the money. So let's do our first purchase here. We're gonna do a $600 withdraw, which will bring our account balance to $400, and we're gonna make this, you know, and you, you wanna be detailed with it. So crystal clear underwater camera for videos. See, I wasn't just like, just waterproof camera. That's pretty basic. I want to be descriptive. Why am I getting it? What am I going to use it for? What do I like about it? I like the fact it's got crystal clear video even when it's underwater. You know, so we're going to do that. Next purchase, we'll say $200. Leaves your account at $200. bucks. we will say, um, brand new super light and durable running shoes just got some nice new running shoes with our prosperity game and then the next purchase um let's go to 150 bucks leaves the account at 50 dollars and fitness band to track running stats you know to go along with those nice new shoes we got and let's say like i i'm not looking for a pair of running shoes i got a good running shoes but let's say it's like brand new super light and durable red black because you already got them picked out and you love them red black running shoes remember the goal of this game is to have fun thinking about this stuff and imagining having it because you're doing it as a game you're not sitting there thinking oh what if i don't have the money or i can't spend that there you're literally just thinking of having the item and you're not offering resistance which remember resistance stops you from bringing in what you want this game allows you to focus on money focus on spending money and guess what no resistance so the next day of the game day two which I would come in on November 13th obviously you wouldn't do this all back to back but now day two you get a two thousand dollar deposit so that puts our balance at 2050 and day two deposit or you call it prosperity gain deposit whatever you want to call it to be um, most comfortable for you then um, there is one purchase I want here there's this nice watch I want new black gold ceramic watch 
It's a watch I've absolutely wanted forever. It looks so gorgeous. I, I won't get it till I hit over five figures in a week. I've been so close so many times. I really want it and I'm, it's, it's so close to manifesting. But for example sake, we'll put that because it's going to spend most of it. So that's going to leave the account balance at $150. Could spend more, could leave it. For just example's sake here, we're going to leave it. So then day three, you know, be November 14th, 2018. You know, we're going to deposit $3,000. So now, you know, we've got $3,150 in there. Day three, deposit. And then, you know, same thing, you need to spend it, you need to have fun with it, write physical checks out if that feels good, whatever feels the most real and makes it the most real and fun for you, again, the key is fun. So then day four, you know, same thing, November 15th, 2018, except this time we're doing $4,000, I'm sure you get the, get the drift, how it's always going to keep going up by that, you know, $1,000, or $1,000 for every day that it's on. And you're going you're to continue that, you know, day 10 hits. You're gonna do ten thousand dollars. Day sixty-three hits. You know what you're gonna do is sixty-three thousand dollars. Now, here's a crazy fact about this process: is if you actually do this every day for a year straight, you are actually going to spend sixty-six million dollars. I just went six hundred. Sixty-six million dollars. So, whether you actually spent it or not you're gonna have vibrated and been in a state of allowing 66 million dollars to happen in your life you don't think that's gonna help attract just like a little bit more money into your life that's how the law of process works you need to want it you need to be in a state of allowing it and when you're focused on it you need to be focused on having it already not the lack of it now the cool thing is the longer you play this game the bigger those amounts get the more creative you have to get with spending those amounts and the more time effort and focus you're actually gonna have to apply to figure it out notice how you're spending more time and just like Earl Nightingale you will get what you think of most of the time so you're thinking of spending large amounts of money most of the time money's gonna start happening in your experience more often this works because most people almost exclusively offer their focus in observation, not creation. Doing this process is going to allow you to constantly come up with new ideas, increasing your ability to imagine, increasing your ability to desire, and thus increasing your state of allowance, which is the most important part. Now this is important because the universe responds to your state of vibration and frequency not your actual current state unless you're focused on it so by giving your attention to your current state your current state will essentially never change it will be changing but it's going to be changing into the same thing so it's not going to be noticeable so play this game for a short time or a long time whatever feels best for you the longer you play it the more you work with it and the more fun you have with it the more allowance you're allowing into your life into your experience and the more flow of abundance it's going to come See, the magic is thinking about purchasing this stuff while offering little to no resistance. Because you don't have to ever worry about running out of money. You get more tomorrow, and then you get more tomorrow, and then you get more tomorrow. So you need to spend it. You almost have to spend it. So you have to think in a way of spending that money. Most people aren't going, out, going about throughout their day trying to spend money they don't have all the time, right? But little do they know actually doing those thoughts would actually create more money, create ways, raises in their job, create discounts, create rebates in the mail, whatever it is, it will happen to you if you play this game for a while. And like this game, when you're really focused on it, things can change extremely fast. But remember guys, every subject that you are trying to attract is actually two subjects. One is the lack of that subject, and the other is the presence of that subject and most people when they're thinking about wanting more money they're constantly thinking about where they lack money all the lack of money they have not the abundance of money they have you need to be thinking abundantly to get abundance you don't need abundance to get abundance 
As your imagination expands, so does your state of allowing. And as your state of allowing expands, so does the abundance in your experience. So just by playing this game for a short amount of time, you will notice dramatic shifts in your life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, comment below what day of the process you were on and what you were buying with that money. And I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, Mike here. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to even check it out. Subscribe below so you can join me. And together we can see the whole world. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Comment below what you like the most and where I should go next. Hit those social media buttons. Go to createyourownfreedom.net so you can see more. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next country. I remember you guys. Love your life or... Take it,